Well, hello there, it's Green, and welcome to another speed build. So, today we're building, I'm not sure you know how to call it, it's kind of of a magical house that a hobbit, a furry, or a person could reside. <laughs> I'm not sure, I just know that I'm so happy with how it looks. I'm honestly so proud of it, and there's so many like, little aspects that I want to go over, and I just I want to show you everything. Um, so as the build continues, let, let me tell you a bit about the Xeer because this is the part that I'm proudest of. As you can see, it's a little house that's on top of a tree stamp. For tree stamps, I use the ones that came with Outdoor Retreat, I think, if I'm not completely mistaken. And so the Original inspiration is from an illustration that I saw on Pinterest months and months ago, even before Cottage Living was even announced. Um, I said there, I'm like, maybe one day I'll do it. I will obviously link the illustration down below because the person who created it deserves all the respect and credit. Um, so I saved it. And when the trailer hit for Cottage Living, I'm like, the time has come. Uh, I was so excited to build everything that I had said because it's not only that illustration, there were so many of them. And yeah, life happened. Let's just leave it at that. And I only did one build uh, during that time, which I was so disappointed. And since then, I'm like, all the builds that I could have done, I'm just, I'm so sad over it. And Earlier this week, I was on Twitter scrolling and I saw so many people actually post cottages. And that got me thinking. Like, I, I have felt like I lost the cottage living train, you know, that ship had sailed. Uh, I was so excited when I saw that. I'm like, you know what, maybe, maybe it's not too late. Um, so I decided to say, you know what? I don't have anything to lose. Let's just do it. And I'm so happy that I did. Because I'm I love everything about this build apart from the interior because I'm not good at doing the interior. <laughs> um so as I told you, the whole house is on top of a tree stump. The front of the house has an imaginary ladder, if you will, which is where you can imagine your sins climbing to go over and enter the house, but in reality we just have a ladder in the side that no one can see it and a side door because uh, there was no other way to make that work. So after I was done with the base and the main structure of the build, um, I had pulled out all the items that came with Cottage Living to see what I can, you know, add. And if you go to the illustration, you will see that apart from the fact that the item was... item the house is on top of a tree stump it has overgrown flowers around it and mushrooms all over it so this is what gave me the i want to say hobbit i want to say furry vibe i'm not really sure but you know that magical thing uh and i had pulled out all the items and one of the items was a hidden uh, it's not hidden it was an unlockable item which was a bunny or rabbit house and it was on like it is it still exists in the game it's on a tree stump and it matched perfectly because it had the flowers it had the mushrooms that already added around the building or like the base of the building so I got so excited to add it and I also added a little door and a window and I got so so happy about it <laughs> also I did a little pathway uh, you know to imagine the rabbit goes there opens the door and it gave me Alice in Wonderland vibes uh, and I, I was just so happy about it <laughs> and then it was the entire uh, other half of the lot that I hadn't furnished like I hadn't added anything there I got so anxious because I'm like, what am I supposed to add there? What matches with the vibe that I'm going? Uh, because this is the smallest lot that came with the pack and it's hidden on top of the map, which to be completely honest with you, I didn't even see it at first. I mean, 
the name Secret Codes, <laughs> it served its purpose really well. So I decided to, you know what, I don't know what to do with the rest of the map, the lot, uh, but because obviously a person who really loves nature and just magical stuff lives there, I decided to add some fairy light, some more plants, I also added a little river with some ducks and a barn, which I wanted to add something from the pack, you know, because obviously <laughs> this is what this is supposed to be. Um, but the crops, uh, the pl plot of crops, the crop plots, didn't really make sense uh, for this particular build. So I decided to add a barn and add the llama there. I added the barn on top, as you can kind of see in the background, of a tree stump and the little river goes around it. So that kind of worked. It's not my favorite thing, but it kind of works. So I decided to just roll with it. Um, and then I had this weird, I don't know, like gap in between the barn and the house and the pathway of those two. And I was looking at the items and I was pulling more mushrooms to put around the base of the building. Um, and I saw a mushroom that it's called like a mushroom stool, which I, I think it's usable. I'm not completely sure. I still haven't had time to play with this pack. I am in the winter retreat pack. I still haven't game played through that, so I'm a little behind in my let's play, personal let's play, however you want to call it, gameplay, I guess it's the proper word. Uh, so I saw the mushroom and I'm like, hmm, the bunny has a door. What if we added a door to the mushroom? So I added one there and I added more mushrooms. So I created a little mushroom village that has little doors and has little windows and it has little lights and pathways and it even has a laundry line to hang your laundry. And I was so excited. It's so cute. Like, it's adorable. And I, <laughs> I was so happy with that. You will see more in the screen, so it's a bit later, but I was so excited. Uh, I cannot describe how excited I was. And I was looking at it a bit later. I'm like, oh my god, that's so imaginative. Good job, you. And I realized I literally made a Smurfs village. Just, you know, without the blue things. I just added gnomes. So, yeah, no, not that creative. I I guess, but anyways, um, and then I had to go into the interior, that obviously the interior had to match the exterior, like, duh, I, I had no idea what to do, I think I did a good job in most of the rooms, apart from the kids' bedroom, because I wanted it to have, you know, that cottage feeling, but also maybe a bit more magical, a bit more quirky, a bit, I don't know, like, sorry kind of feeling, um, I like most of the rooms, like I think the living room and the kitchen and the master bedroom are okay, the kids bedroom however, it's a mess, but to be honest, I'm, I'm never good at building kids bedrooms, so eh, <laughs> like honestly this single room took me way longer than the rest of the rooms and it turned out like crap because I don't know how to furnish kids rooms, I just... It was a pain. Oh man, it was a pain. This is the building, the entire thing. I'm so happy. It looks so cute. And of course, I already said this is the bunny thing, and this is the mushroom, the little mushroom village. This is where the llama lives, and this is the staircase that I was talking about. And you can see a bit more the interior. Uh, but yeah, I shared the build already in the gallery if you want to download it. My gallery username is the exact same as here, and if you're too lazy, I always add a link in the description, if I'm not lazy. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you have an amazing day. And take care. Bye.